All right, we're removing the steering column. It is not too difficult so far. Got to pull the steering wheel, which was pretty easy. Uh, basically, you got the wheel fits on the sh spleen shaft of the of the steering gear, and you got the horn button that sits in there. That's the contact. It actually sits in there. That, you got that, you got a nut and washer, you got the horn, horn just pries off, back the nut off, all this stuff will come out, then you use a steering wheel puller just to pull that off, and then you've got these bolts that hold the steering shaft onto the dash, and they have like a... Uh, like a big square, kind of like a flat square washer that has threads in it that seem to fit inside a channel here. This one gave me a little trouble. It seemed to spin out of the channel. So I just put the other side back on, kind of pulled down on this so it would stay locked in the channel and then just backed it out. It was a little rusty, but it's almost there. And then, I uh, can't really see it in the dark. There we go. You got the floor gasket. Uh, I don't know if this needs to come off. It might help if you just back it out. I got a new one of these. This is all dried out. But uh, it's screwed to the floor with sheet metal screws. Take that off. Probably give me more room to wiggle around. I took my turn signal off. It's just, if you have one, it's just held on with a worm clamp. And I uh, just slid it off the end of the shaft when the steering wheel came off. And then don't forget your horn button. There's like a little pigtail that hangs off the end with a bullet connector that goes into the dash there. And then if you come around, there's a couple bolts there and one on top. And then you got one that goes up through the frame and threads into there that holds the steering box on. And there are nuts on the other side. You do have to hold them. They're not hard to get off. And not having the engine in here makes it way easier to get out. So it shouldn't be too much trouble.